Condition Monitoring Specialist WearCheck's Reliability Solutions Division conducts scientific vibration and thermography analysis and a host of related tests to increase the lifespan of machinery and keep it operating at optimum levels. The comprehensive package of condition monitoring options presents a complete reliability solution for the mining, industrial, power generation, transport, shipping, aviation and renewable energy industries. The addition of a whole new dimension to traditional predictive maintenance services has transformed WearCheck into a complete one-stop condition monitoring destination, offering a highly sophisticated world-class range of measurements over and above the original oil and fuel analysis services. We have grown in the last seven years also to be one of the leading companies in condition monitoring, providing solutions and um, uh, problem solving on various industrial equipment. WearCheck specializes in a range of sophisticated condition monitoring techniques which help to improve the remaining life of machinery by testing for potential component malfunctions before they happen. These condition assessment techniques include thermography, vibration monitoring, motion video amplification, operational deflection shape analysis and both motor circuit and signature analysis. We do approximately 30,000 measuring points in one area alone. So in total we're looking at about 10,000 rotating equipment that we monitor on a monthly basis via portable vibration. We're also embarking on a new route now. We, we start looking at in, in, looking encompassing online monitoring systems and then also looking at uh, artificial intelligence in our services. Where needed, vibration analysis is performed and corrective action reports generated with recommendation on all machines to reduce vibration levels. With advanced vibration analysis, internally referred to as AVA, we have now developed a method where we can actually determine the advanced stage of the defect. In other words, if you are in a stage 1 bearing or gear defect, does not necessarily mean that you need to change out the component. We can now offer a solution and give you the action maintenance needs to follow. In other words, you can now extend the life of that machine because you are now not prematurely changing out machinery that's not necessary that will save industry millions and millions of dollars. It is also important to use the correct lubrication for non-stationary machine components, which plays a key role in keeping equipment healthy, reliable and operating smoothly. However, in many operations, it's found that incorrect lubrication is often a direct cause of premature machine failure. Lubrication is the low-hanging fruits when we look at maintenance tasks within a plant. Uh, Many years ago, people used to think that an oil is an oil and a grease is a grease. Of course, that is not true. Uh, the new tendency, which personally I don't agree with, is that oil should be uh, seen as an asset. But we should be wary of that because what do you want to save? The oil or the grease or the machine? Of course, the oil or the grease or the lubricant is a lot less expensive. So we always concentrate on the reliability factor of the machine itself. Uh, through using vibration analysis and now advanced vibration analysis, we are able to see just the correct amount of lubrication needed for equipment to run smoothly. Customers can further increase plant reliability by adopting a proactive approach after any maintenance intervention, such as performing in situ balancing, shaft centerline alignment or structural resonance investigations. This effectively minimizes external forces and unacceptable vibration levels of rotating parts, components and structures. In the long run, you will see that we, on a schedule, you will grease a component weekly or monthly. We can now go to condition-based lubrication, which means not only are you saving your equipment from uh, dire uh, 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 consequences because of over-greasing or under-greasing, but actually what you are doing is you are saving cost on oil and grease, which has a huge environmental impact. Uh, Therefore, today, if you are still on a scheduled uh, lubrication uh, uh, program, 
uh, it's something that you need to consider for the reliability of your plant. WearCheck is accredited with several international quality ratings. These include an ISO 9001 quality certification, an ISO 14001 certification for its environmental management program, and the SANA 17025 accreditation for its laboratory-centric quality management program. WearCheck is the only condition monitoring company in Africa with these certifications. We also have various accreditations which our competitors don't have, like ISO 9001, 9002 and 17025, specifically on the transformer side. So as RS we do benefit from all the certifications because I mean it, it, it brings our quality to a very high standard of our services that we deliver to the industry out there. WearCheck is an accredited training partner for the internationally acclaimed Mobius Institute. Mobius Reliability Solutions training courses are globally recognized as the preferred standard for condition monitoring and reliability engineers and are available in 153 countries. On completion of the courses, students earn continuing professional development points on most courses and ISO accredited certification on successful completion of the exams. From the education side, we have aligned ourselves with Mobius. Mobius is currently one of the biggest uh, trainers in condition monitoring in the world. Uh, two years they have back, they have trained 25,000 people across the world. I mean, that's from South America right around back to Australia. It's an Australian company. Um, and we have decided to go with Mobius because they are the best and they have the, their certification um, is recognized worldwide. What we do is we provide various courses in from Mobius. Um, we have got Vibration 1 uh, as for beginners, for guys just getting into the area or into the business and then obviously Vibration 2, Vibration 3 and then we have the Vibration 4 which is the advanced, which not many people have currently in, you can rather say in the world or in Africa. Uh, we have one of four people in South Africa can, currently having the qualification as a um, Master Vibration Analyst. And then we also have very reliability training courses that we do. Meanwhile, the company's acquisition of Anglo Field Services in 2019, now renamed Advanced Field Services, or AFS, adds three new established divisions to the company's reliability solutions portfolio. These include non-destructive testing, technical compliance and rope condition assessment. Non-destructive test methods are popular because they don't permanently alter the test objects undergoing inspection, making NDT a valuable tool that can save both money and time in condition monitoring and inspections. So NDT is also a way of determining if there's any subsurface problems on the machine. For example, something that you can't see with the naked eye and you will not pick it up on vibration. Sometimes you can pick a crack on a shaft on a vibration, but that's in a very late stage. It's very close to failure. So with non-destructive testing, we are able to determine if there's any problem, underlying problems in the machine on the rotating side. So that's not all what non-destructive testing is, is that um, there are various type of, of, of services that are non-destructive and they use technologies like ultrasonic, a phaser array, and also using um, um, radioactive uh, isotopes to determine if there's a condition on the machine. It's something we would like to take further in just doing um, assessment on cages in the mining industry, is also start looking at um, lifts in hotels and also on drag lines and we currently do some work on ships where you have huge ropes that uh, on, on the ships that they actually use so that that's another part of the industry that we can actually take our service and provide the service. Finally, WearCheck's Lubrigard division offers a total fluid management maintenance improvement program for fuels, lubricants, air and coolants. FLAC is a acronym for fuels, lubes, air and coolant and it's essentially a maintenance improvement program. Uh, the industry might know it by another name uh, called total fluid management. And essentially what it is, it's a strategy to improve equipment availabilities, reliabilities, uh, you know, by making components last that much longer. Uh, the, the program has two very different types of strategies. We have one for automotive, which is uh, anything that's on tracks and wheels, and then the strategy also for industrial, which is equipment fixed or bolted to the ground. Two very different areas of the mine, uh, two very different strategies. The strategies are largely dependent on the outcome of a audit, or what I like to call a situation analysis. And what it does, it creates a pictorial view of your operation. Um, 
on reviewing that audit, we identify areas of concern, be it the handling of lubrication from bulk storage to equipment, or just the general cleanliness of fuels or how components are re-lubricated. So the strategy is largely dependent on the customer strategy. If he doesn't have one, we go in and assist with uh, either improving that strategy or enhancing that strategy to depending on the outcome of, of, of the, the, the respective program that we're trying to implement. The bypass filters that form part of the FLAC maintenance program are designed to clean oil and fuel used in a variety of industries, including mining, transport, construction, manufacturing, shipping, electrical and aircraft. By using scientific data on the oil's condition and knowing that the filters have cleaned the oil or fuel effectively, WearCheck can advise when it's feasible to extend the oil drain interval without risk, thereby saving money.